welcome Yossi Abramowitz, who is here to talk mm -hmm. about solar energy and biblical... Ruth. Ruth. <laughs> the ancestor of King David himself. Indeed, and that's, that's why she's here, because she's a symbol of redemption. With what's happening with climate change in the world, you know, it looks relatively hopeless. And, you know, part of the role of Jewish people is to restore hope to, to humanity. And so uh, every morning when the sun rises over the Jordanian mountains, she, she greets the sun and um, with, a, with a message of hope. Because when, when, when we put her here, uh, we had a vision that this whole region would be 100% powered by the sun. And if we can do it, then the rest of the world can do it. And, and part of the magic of Ruth is that, uh, you know, she was very poor. When she came back into Bethlehem, she came to Bethlehem, she was poor. And so she went out to the fields of Boaz. Mm -hmm. And the biblical command, they didn't have soup kitchens then. They kept the corners of the field for the poor people to, to come. So here we are in the land of Israel wanting to, do something magical for the world. And we said, you know, if we're going to build a solar field, it has to be a Jewish solar field. And we've brought back into the history the mitzvah of Peah, the corners of the field. So the electricity from the four corners of this first field in the land of Israel, the, the money that we make from it is given to four um, charities uh, every year for, for, for 20 years. So explain a little bit more about the whole, you know, the, the tzedakah element of, of agriculture and, and Peah specifically. So the... Um, you see her carrying a bushel of wheat, yes. essentially. She, has, she, 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 she has she has one on her back, and you know, there's no life without without agriculture. Judaism is actually an agricultural religion. We just you know don't realize it when we're out there in the cities, which is where most Jews are. And so the agriculture links us to our biblical roots, and of course that was our fields. And so these, these this is our modern field. So this is the path actually of the Israelites. Wow. And um, and so from here has come other revolutions, ethical revolutions, and now uh, the solar revolution with a, with a message of hope. Why is that such an important mission for powering Africa from the resources and the technology of Israel specifically? Right. I mean, there are 600 million people in Africa without access to power. And so um, if our job is to be a renewable light unto the nations and lift people dignity, uh, they need access to food, water, and then therefore, therefore power. And how many places in Africa right now are being powered with solar energy as a result of, of so uh, your work and your team? You're right. We have, a, we have a great team, a team for Israel and a team in Africa. We're working in 10 African countries. We're currently supplying 6% of Rwanda's power. Uh, and we're building now in Burundi, we'll supply 15% of their power and 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 so on so we we do need a little bit more uh, help from uh, to, to speed up the process you're bringing redemption come on bring yeah. it on girl Indeed. bring maybe, it on maybe we need statues <laughs> in africa of ruth uh, not as a well. bad idea yeah. not a bad idea that all you'll uh, work on that on the next visit, <laughs> indeed, right? Indeed, indeed. Yossi, thank you so much. Uh, thank and, you, thank um, you, Emily. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Captain thank Sunshine. You. <laughs>